Hi there, it's Jenna, and it's almost Halloween, which is one of my favorite times of the year for lots of different reasons, including that my child now thinks it's the best thing ever, and Halloween candy, obviously, uh, the non-religious nature of the holiday, just so many things to love about Halloween. And I realized that it can also be the beginning of a really chaotic eating season for a lot of people. So today I just want to reach out and to offer something, which is that if this is a difficult time of the year for you, there are probably a lot of reasons why, not the least of which is um, the horror show of what's going on in Washington and around the world. And I would just ask you to be gentle with yourself as we move into Halloween and then Thanksgiving and then the December holidays, all kind of ramping up for the tendency to make dramatic resolutions at the beginning of the new year. Try to be gentle with yourself and just observe what's happening. Um, observe your thoughts and feelings around the potential threat presented by the availabil availability of different foods. And also notice how what's going on in the world at large and in our culture and in our various subcultures might be interacting with that feeling of chaos. Um, I think self-compassion can be a really important tool at this time of the year, as always, but particularly when emotions are involved around the holidays, um, family and expectations are all on the rise. So enjoy this season and see if you can approach it with gentleness and self-compassion and just let the main practice be noticing. Noticing what's arising in your body and in your mind and in your heart. Take care. See you next week.